So this past month, I uh, went on alternate days where I ate various foods to see just what I am sensitive to. Because I've known for a long time that fasting made me feel good. But I didn't believe it was the abstinence of food altogether that made me feel good. It was probably one or two items that I was especially sensitive to. I had long suspected it was carbohydrates. And so today, well, I'm 16 hours into fasting, but I am also 40 hours into basically, basically a zero-carb diet. And I feel so good. I feel so good. Um, and um, to give you an idea of um, how good I feel, uh, upsetting situations become more like inconveniences as opposed to frustration and anger. So I'm competing at the Computer Olympiad, and one of my opponents really upset me. He was using Zoom, and he would host the Zoom meeting, but he didn't know how to allow the guest to share screen. I was trying to explain to him, and I said, well, why don't you just Google it? Because I'm trying to explain to you, but maybe your computer looks very different. He refuses to do that. And I said, well, what about I just host the meeting then? And he doesn't want to read about how to do that. Finally, he gets it all figured out. Oh, it's time for bed for him. He, um, I guess he is married. Maybe his wife wants to do something. Who knows? Okay, time for bed. Uh, I agree. But I asked him, well, what time are you going to come back? Because when he gets up, it's going to be the middle of the night for me. I don't mind having the game in the middle of the night, but I want a specific time, right? If it's 2 a.m., so be it. At least I can get some sleep between whatever time and 2 a.m., right? If it's going to be midnight, then maybe I'll do the games before going to sleep, right? But he leaves before he could answer me what time he's going to be back. That is just, you know, and, and I'm thinking to myself, well, if he doesn't want to do the game, so be it. You know, I don't write games just to compete with so-and-so, right? I do it to learn about machine learning and to experience, right? You know, if it comes down to I couldn't find my opponent, so be it, right? So I go to sleep. I set my alarm for 1 a.m. just in case something comes back. He comes back, and um, I told him, you know, I don't mind because uh, right now we're kind of on break at the university anyway, but... I think it would have been nice if you told me what time, so I, that I, at least I could set my alarm and, you know. And then it turned out uh, both of us had bugs in our program and the game didn't really finish. And uh, instead of being upset over it, I said, you know, this was a great opportunity for us to find our weaknesses in our program. That's me when I'm fasting. When I'm not fasting, all of these could have been very angry situations where I destroyed my computer uh, and, and made, a, made a mess of myself. So carbohydrates, um, kind of like drinking for me when I consume carbohydrates. I can't drink because my face will flush red. A lot of Asians are like that, but carbohydrates are like the equivalent of alcohol for me. That's going to be a big problem because I don't mind physically uh, avoiding the carbohydrates. I only mind it socially, right? It's hard enough for me to go out and avoid problem foods, and now an entire additional category of problem foods. I personally don't mind not consuming it. The problem is other people mind, and I'll have to think about how to handle that. But then it dawned on me, but then it dawned on me, there are people who need to avoid foods, whether it be because of allergies or especially the carbohydrates. So I, I, I used to have a coworker who had type 1 diabetes. And um, I just wonder how, if you're one of those people, I, I sympathize, but I, I'd like to hear some of your strategies. Uh, unfortunately, uh, I didn't get to see that coworker very much. And uh, some of my coworkers who have allergies, uh, now that I think back at it, uh, they weren't very big figures. I wonder if that's a big uh, barrier in the, in the United States, right? Can somebody who have who has allergies become a Bill Gates or a Jeff Bezos or even somebody like a Carrie Underwood, right? Can you? It, I don't know if somebody who has allergies can rise to that in the United States. I, I think there would be a big barrier. I don't want to rise to that level, believe me, but. Uh, I just want to be able to mingle with others and to, to when I say no to a certain food or sometimes of when I say could you please keep your food neat because I do have skin 
sensitivity to various foods. I want that to blend right in, right? A lot of people use that as some sort of power, right? When, when, uh, it, it's human nature to think when, when you can do something that somebody else can't, that uh, you can use that to your advantage to exclude other people, right? I think there's a human tendency to do that. Uh, I think part of being in a civilized society is to overcome the tendency to do that, right? Anyways, I'm going to stay off carbohydrates for a week or two and see how I feel about it. And if I feel really good about it and I go back to the office in mid-September, I think that's when we're planning to go back to the office at the tutoring center, at least where I'm working, maybe not at the university. And I feel really good and I'm showing that I feel really good. Maybe that could be a break the ice on this subject. Anyway, thanks for watching.